the understanding is the guerrilla intellectual is not just the strategist of how you have security or what people call a people's war or how you destabilize empire. They're also philosophers. There's meta thinking. They think across all categories. This is what, it wasn't just the visual of George. When I read George, I see love. And, in, and then I have to reconcile, right? Like, because of all the militarism, all the like, you, you do this one, then you do this one, and then like, there's going to be dying on both sides. And then there's this immense love, right? That coexists. So everything that you're told about dichotomies, that there can't be violence and love in the same space, you realize is just like a disciplinary track because it doesn't reflect the reality of our existence, right? The love is profound and the violence is deep. And then you have to reconcile the two. And so, because if you split the two, it doesn't make sense. Right. Right. And that's why I, you know, I was on millennials are killing capitalism. I said, George is a captive maternal. And the response was like, ah, he's a hyper masculinist. How could he be a captive maternal? And I was like, because he loved and he cared for people. Right. And I think we have to talk about love in a less abstract way. I'm not saying, or I will just talk about myself. I have to talk about love in a less abstract way as I attempt to get closer to revolutionary struggle. And also I try to distinguish force from violence. You're allowed to use force against violence. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, you know, it, it's important. And, and I was just getting that, getting to that, uh, Emma, as Che Guevara said, revolution is the act of love. Right. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I don't, um, you know, for myself, if I can, um, place myself in, in, the, in a position of thinking, um, uh, about freedom fighting, it, it's all about love. I don't know. I don't understand revolution without love. Revolution without love is criminal. You know what right. I'm saying? Because it's the love for your people and it's love for humanity that you fight. It's the love for the planet that you fight, that you resist. So people are confused and misconstrued and they say, well, why are you so angry? I'm not angry. I'm in love. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And and, and because mm -hmm. of that love, it causes me mm -hmm. to respond mm -hmm. to violence um, by whatever means to 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 put that fire out. You know what I'm saying? I don't usually say by any means necessary because folks attribute that to Malcolm. But of course, that was white folks who came up with that initially. But, um, you know, I agree. You, we have to respond accordingly. 